Andrew McCart, IFL TV. Finally, 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 we've got a hold of each other, Mr. Danny Boardman. Danny, uh, our schedules have been up in the air for the last week or so, but we're finally here. About like time, you? about time. Yes, definitely about time. Listen, Kieran Farrell messaged me. Um, when Kieran Farrell messaged me, I know he's excited about Sunday. Um, yeah. He used to, he done it all the time when he was when he first started out when he first got his pro license. He's not done it for a while, but he's done it with you. So, yeah, he must be excited. He must be excited. He must be. Listen, Kieran knows his boxing, and when 100%. he's excited, when he's excited about somebody, when we know we're in for somebody that's uh, that's going. To, I don't know. Superstars maybe a a a word that's thrown about, but going to be a star, or he's going to make uh, light up this professional. I, I, I am. I am going to be a superstar. Don't worry. I am going to be. Well, that's music to my. It's just. A, it's just a matter of time. Good stuff. Well, you're only one and as a one and as a pro. You had your debut a few weeks back, and um, but before we talk about that, for people that yeah. don't know who Danny Boardman is, let them know your amateur background, how many fights you had, the sort of style you bring to the pro ranks, and so on. Yeah, obviously I had forty three as an amateur, one thirty seven, lost six. Um, I never did. I won a few national titles. I never did box for um for England. It was a bit of my own doing, messing about and things. I, I sort of think I underachieved a little bit in the amateurs. And then, um, yeah, obviously I'm only 20 years of age, so I thought it was the right time to turn over and um, take the next step. Obviously, I've got a good style. Um, I think my I pick my shots well, so I think, I think obviously in the pros, it's a bit more settled instead of rushing your work. So I think um, you'll get to see my... I'm a sort of an all-round fighter, but I'm a good counter-puncher and... Um, you you all see you'll all see soon see so when you meant you mentioned that you're underachieved as an amateur why why do you think that is do you know it was it was i won't lie uh, i weren't really one foot was in and one foot was out mm. I, I didn't really give it everything and um i lost to a few kids which i shouldn't have and i just i could have done a bit more for for the talent i believe i've got i think i should have boxed in in the europeans and should have been on the GB squad and, and maybe pushed um, pushed on doing that in the amateur career. But it was sort of my own doing. So I just thought it was time to just shut the chapter on that and um, and push on a, a, as a pro. You said you're underachieved as an amateur. Does that give you that fire in your belly to, now that you've turned professional, to give it 100%? Because you know yourself, Danny, boxing's a small career. You're only in it for 15 years maximum, maybe. So... Are you, is your head in it? You're going to give it 100%? 100%, 100%. And even after that debut, it's, it's just even give me even more of a buzz. Listen, mm. obviously, it was my own doing with the amateurs and I was a bit gutted, but listen, we're here now, so don't make that same mistake. And um, I believe I, I can go all the way. So it's just about working hard and, and putting it all in and um, that I will do. Right. One of those a pro. You made your professional debut, man. Uh, you, the, the sort of like, Amateur stuff is quite is good, but you you never really it's never quite like a professional debut, is it? I mean, no. How there's... much did you enjoy that? Oh, uh, mate, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I must have watched it back about fifty times. <laughs> I didn't stop watching it. It was unbelievable. Do you know, it's completely different to the amateurs. And you see, you know, obviously in the in the amateurs, people say, "Oh, he's a good kid. here, do this and do that." And listen, from my foot, from my debut, I managed to get on um to the zone stream. So that was mm-hmm. it. That was a buzzing. It was a bit surreal, to be honest. It, it was a long time coming, and um, I needed that, to be honest, because now I can see, I, I see where I'm at, and I'm on another good show in um, the Charlie Edwards undercard, not this Friday, next Friday. So it's all sort of coming together now, and um, I'm I'm just I'm buzzing for the journey, to be honest. To be honest with you, Danny, right? You've never you've you've always had every time I've asked you a question, you've had a smile on your face when you've answered, even about your answer. Yeah. So it seems like you, you're. You're enjoying the journey so far, and it's just started. Um, you and it's just started. So, are you are you excited to see what this the future brings? Obviously, in terms of titles, and you 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 only get one professional debut. That's out the way now. Now it's time yeah. to maybe get a couple of fights under your belt. I mean, the limited amateur to background that you've you've got forty three fights yeah. is not a lot of fights, but maybe yeah, that, yeah, yeah, not having that England vest or maybe not having that Commonwealth Games medal might. May hold you back a little bit, you know. You you know what I'm saying. Are you, but are you are you confident in your own ability that maybe you can get to where you want to be a little bit sooner than most? One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Listen, obviously, 
the debut's done now and boxing's a mad life, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, yeah, there's going to be ups and downs, but it's all part of the journey. I'm just excited to see see what happens. And I have everyone around me and me have high, high, high hopes in myself. So I do think I'll go on to um to win to win a lot, do you know what I mean? I think I'll go all the way, honestly. And um, people will see, people will see. Listen, it's easy me saying it. Every mm. every new pro comes over and says the same thing. So listen, it, we'll see how it plays out. But I have I have high hopes and high aims for this for this career. Yeah. Well, what weight division? Um, I think I think Kieran mentioned super bantam weight featherweight. Yeah, about right. Yeah, it's sort of super bantam feather. Obviously, I haven't even got a nutritionist, so these first couple of fights are sort of just done myself. Obviously, mm. with a nutritionist, I'm just going to see after a few fights. It's all just learning at the minute for these next, for these next five, four or five fights. You know what I mean? It's all just learning, finding what weight I'm going to be, what I can make comfortably, and what I can't. So it's just, a, it's just all about learning, to be honest, mate. Mm. Definitely. And we're in September already. You made your pro debut. You've got a quick turnaround. You're up again next Friday. Um. For this calendar year, for the end of December, how many fights would you like to try and squeeze in? Three, maybe, maybe four. See how it plays out. Listen, obviously, I've obviously Kieran said to me after this one, "Do you want a little break or nothing?" And I thought, I ain't boxing ages. I want to keep, wanted to keep the momentum going." So I said, "No, get me straight back out." He's got me on this Wasserman card. I'll probably have a week out the gym. I feel like when you're only doing four rounds and that, you you're just better off staying in the gym and and pushing on. Because that's the only way you're going to get better. So I'm um, I'm looking to have at least at least be three and zero going into next year, maybe four and zero. Def- and listen, that's that's not a bad start to your career, especially this tail end of the year, the back end of the year to be three and zero, especially the show and Channel Five show on Wasserman as well next week. Um, when Kieran sent me a couple of notes from you, he, he said nah, he said forty three fights, amateur win, one of them was a pro, super bad in the featherweight division, and he added one of the lads, big Chelsea supporter. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Go on the chairs. Yeah, you know, I mean, you you were flying high a few years back. What's happened to you now? Oh, mate, we're useless. We're useless <laughs> at the minute. We're useless at the minute. I won't lie. Do you know what? Um, I've always I've always supported them. Supported them from young. I've just um, they're they're not too far from from where I'm from. So I've always supported them. I go. I'm not every game, but I go to what games I can. And um, yeah, I get behind them. I get behind them. Hopefully, uh. We pull our finger out and start getting some results, but it's not looking too good at the minute, is it? <laughs> no, listen, it's it's football. Uh, hopefully, you can bring the Chelsea fans some shine and light, and they can you can, they can get behind you. One hundred percent, one hundred percent, definitely. I think Stanford, from Stanford Bridge needs a, a, some type of champion. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, Danny. It's, it's been, been a while. while. It's been a while, mate. Um, yeah, so like I say, good fight next next week on the, the Wasman Show, Charlie Edwards. Um, is it only a four rounder? Are you going at the six rounders? Are you, are you that? Are you just going to stick on the four rounders or now? Just now. Uh, I'll probably have another couple four rounders mm-hmm. and then go on to six. This one is um is only a four rounder. It's a little bit of a step up. I think I'm boxing Yin Casado. He's at um thirty six. I think he's drew. He's won about ten. Lost twenty and drew the rest, but it's a little bit of a step up. Do you know what I mean? He lets his hands go, but I feel like in the debut, it's hard. The, my opponent Smithson was just so negative. It was it's hard to look good against someone that's not really yeah. letting their hands go. Do you know what I mean? There's only uh, you only look look so good. Do you know what I mean? I feel like with my style, you'll see it more as as the opponent gets better and they let their hands go. There's more opportunity for me to counter punch and come from different angles. Well, that's what I was going to say. Sometimes with a young fighter, when they fight these journeymen, the, the, the four rounds is, is a short fight. You're just coming out the amateur. Yeah. But the journeymen know how to survive and you don't get the stoppage. They don't really engage. Do you feel like when somebody comes with the same ambition as you, that that's where we're going to see the best Danny Boardman in terms of the stoppages and stuff like that? 100%. 100%. Listen, obviously, it takes two to tango. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, if you're boxing someone that's very negative, like you said, it's only, it's only four rounds. So to get to them, in the space of four rounds when they're not really giving you much. It, it is hard, do you know what I mean? So I feel like as you climb up and the opponents get better, you'll see me it just step up each time, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, definitely. Well, it's exciting times ahead and I'm sure I'll be tuning into Channel 5 to to, to watch that card and hopefully I know you, that you'll be on there somewhere. I'm sure I'll find your fight yeah, somewhere. You'll, you'll um, find it, you'll find it. But I'll be remiss of me not to talk about it because before your fight, there's a huge fight happening on uh, Saturday. 
Yeah, yeah. And Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois. I've got to get your thoughts on it because it is a huge fight. And as a British boxing fan, as a British as a fighter in itself, coming from Britain, how excited are you for your fight for this fight? And can you pick a winner on this one? Is it that easy? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. And Kieran might not like me saying it, but listen, if you had to, if you had to, you're you're gonna pick AJ. Do you know what I mean? I would go with AJ just because. I think he he's boxed at a bit higher level. Do you know what I mean? And um, but uh, but then on the other hand, it is it is. Listen, them heavyweights is a, there's always a punch of chance in any weight, but mm. them heavyweights especially. So I don't know. It'd be good to it'd be good to see how it plays out. But I feel like um, if I had to put put my house on it, I'd say uh, I'd say AJ. Yeah. Well, listen, Ke- 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 Daniel... Kieran's gonna give it. Kieran's gonna give me a bollock in now, but I, I've got to be truthful. <laughs> and you want me to cut this bit out, Danny? You want me to cut it out? I've cut no, this bit in, bit in, bit in. <laughs> listen, you're an honest man. That's what's good to see. Listen, Channel Five next week. Danny Boardman, watch out for the name. And uh, yeah, you. hopefully this is the first of many. I'm sure it will be first 100%, of many. 100%. And, uh, listen, good luck next Friday. Thank uh, you, mate. I'll be in. So thanks again, my man. Thank you. And thanks for having me on. Anytime, brother. Speak to you soon. Cheers, mate. Take Cheers, care. Mate. Bye.